So what are the three types of videos that everyone should be consider producing? Uh, whether you're a realtor or not, because I know we have someone here who's looking to pursue a different career. Number one, our testimonials and review videos. You want to, you know, have someone else toot your horn. You know, yes, we want to talk about ourselves, but it's always better when you have someone else talking about how amazing you are. And so what are the questions that you want to ask people that you've worked with? Number one is what's their name and what do they do? People like to hear stories. And so we want to tell the story basically of who we're talking to. And then how did you get started working together? What was the problem that you helped them with? People are online looking for solutions. They needed to find a new home in an area they've never been in because they are relocating because of their job. That's a problem that you have a solution to. I needed to sell my home fast so I can move to a different state to be closer to my parents who are aging. That's a problem that you're helping them get a solution to. Hello, hello. Yes, you're welcome. Oh, there was one right there. But anywho. And so you want them to state their problem because again, people need solutions. And so what was the problem? They needed to buy a house. They needed to sell a house fast, whatever it might be. And then what was the process like? Have them share, you know, did you communicate with them on a regular basis? Um, were they left in the dark? Were they, uh, you know, selling their home faster than they thought for a higher market value than they thought? Have them talk about the actual prices and the results and anything that's tangible. So right there, when I said they were able to sell their home for a higher market value, that's something that you would want to say because then people can hear those words and then see that result in their own lives and what kind of difference that would make for them. Maybe you were able to help them find their dream home in less than a week. Imagine that instead of spending a month or two, you found it in less of a week. What would that do for that other person who is learning about this story? And then have you worked with a realtor before and how is this experience different? So. We're in the world right now of uh, politics and elections and you see people that bash other people and I don't like bashing campaigns. So I don't want you to have them say, I worked with XYZ Realtor and oh boy, they never gave me a call. They never did this. Let's not have them totally name bash. Instead, highlight what made you different and amazing. And so it could be, I have sold a home before and I didn't receive any staging tips, but this person and make sure they state your name as often as possible you know this person came in and you know actually moved the furniture with me and i made the room look so much bigger and advised me on other things that i could do in order to help me list the home for top market value and we even exceeded that and so you want to make sure that they are saying your name and really talking about what was it that made you unique and then number six let's say you were working with a very, very busy person who really doesn't have time to even do a video, at the very least, have them answer this question. Would you recommend, must say your name, your, your brokerage, whatever you wanna make sure that they mention, and why? And then when you're asking these questions, you wanna coach your clients to restate the question within the answer. So then that way, your voice can get eliminated in the edit and then you just have a perfect story. And so what that also means is if you really don't want to do a lot of editing, you might want to consider just asking that number six question. Because if you just ask, would you recommend me and why, then you can just get that one simple answer, trim the beginning when you were asking the question, trim the end, you know, when you say, oh, that was great. And there you go. You have a perfect testimonial video just with them answering that one question. Now, if you are willing to do a little bit of editing, I do advise trying to ask all six questions. And again, just have them restate the question and the answer. So when they say, you know, what was the process like? The process working with, mention your name, was really simple and I was never left in the dark. Does that make sense for everyone? So definitely, you know, third party, testimonials and reviews are the number one video I suggest that people focus on for their marketing because people trust other people. Like how often do you buy a product and not look at the reviews? You just don't do it, especially these days. Yelp is in existence because we care what other people experiences were. And so really think about who were some of your best clients you worked with and get a variety. 
Get a few buyers, get a few sellers, make sure that you have a nice sprinkled mix. If you work with investors, make sure you connect with a few investors.